Hi there. Ready for some more Riddler Collection Marathon. This one is in fact a marathon to end all marathons. Because it's going to be two videos in a row I'm doing because I got a little crazy and did far too many Riddler trophies. But that's alright. So uh, if you're looking for the uh, hostage, that would be in Riddlethon 5. So yeah, that's good. That's a pretty easy uh, riddle right there. Cool couple, Mr. Freeze. Get it, get it, got it, good. Uh, this is another one of those glidey ones that I absolutely adore. I adore them completely and utterly. That was a bit of an odd cut there. It's because I was fiddling around with these uh, platform thingies. You see, they're green, so I thought they had to do with the trophy somehow. But they actually have to do with the Catwoman thing. So that was minor aggravation on my part. But oh well. I believe, in fact, by the time this uh, video uh, is up, Resident Evil 27 will be out. Uh, the movie, not the game. That's a, a little while yet. But uh, it looks like crap, obviously. And, um... Yeah... Now, the, the main reason I brought up that is not to talk about the shitty franchise, which is super crap, no doubt about it. But, uh, I apologize if you do like them, but come on, man. Come on. Anyway, I shouldn't insult the, <laughs> the viewers too much, anyway. But, um, I saw a review of Resident Evil 6. It wasn't a real review by Conan O'Brien, but... There's just something really disturbing about what was on display there. I know it's the demo and whatever, but uh, it just, a, a lot of the graphics and like gameplay elements and artistic, yeah, artistic display, I guess, and, you know, actual movements. Oh, before I go on with that, this is one that I kind of fucked up by not recording accidentally, so it's right there, you know, just don't worry about it. I showed on the map, easy enough to find. Anyway, Resident Evil 6. It just, it looked like a regression from Resident Evil 5, which I know compromises sometimes have to be made, especially when you're making a game that's as big as Resident Evil 6 is. It has like, what, four different campaigns? But uh, it just looked, it just looked bad. Like, I don't, I don't know how else to say it, it just looked bad. And there's a especially great uh, moment where he does the praise, you know, and Leon does this absolutely ridiculous motion with his thumbs. Like, I'll link it in the description so you can see it, in case you haven't seen it. And here I forgot that they uh, replicate, which is great. But that's alright. Uh, hmm. So yeah, Resident Evil 6. Like, even the actual player movements of Leon, it looks like a regression from Resident Evil 4, which is on the GameCube. So that's just, uh, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, if you have to make that kind of compromise, then you should probably not have four separate campaigns. And, yeah. Th this is a Riddler trophy that is uh, quite annoying. You have to be very, very quick. Hit them in that exact order that I'm doing right now, or else you'll probably fail. Because those doors close super, super quickly. So yeah, that's my Resident Evil rant over with. I just, it just really disappointed me. It almost made me not consider getting on the first day. It, it might actually depend on what the reviews are like now. Which, I, I guess is the smart thing to do. But <laughs> some of those games you just know, I'm going to get this day one, no matter what. And I was hoping that would be the case with Resident Evil 6. Because I loved Resident Evil 5, even despite all the weird co-op elements to it. And I loved it still. And Resident Evil 4 is like one of my greatest games. In fact, it is my favorite game ever, and I think it is the greatest game ever. Of course, if Resident Evil is actually amazing, then this whole last, like, couple minutes of commentary will be absolutely fun to reminisce on, you know, and realize I was being a complete tard, which is always, uh, always what you like to do. Yeah. Now, you'll see that watcher sign there. I I got up here for Riddler Trophy, not realizing the Watcher and the Wings would be there, so I didn't have fraps on. So I'm sorry you missed that, but all he really said was, you know, Ooh, we are watching you in the shadows, or something like that. Just generally trying to creep Batman out, 
which is uh, you're going to have mixed uh, success with that uh, goal, I think. Being Batman, after all. Oh man, dead air. This isn't good. Anyway, uh, oh, the next trophy, one after this one, kind of uh, annoying to get. Just a wee bit. I actually looked up on a walkthrough here. They tell you to detonate two of them, right? You want to do like two at the front there. And uh, the guy throwing bricks at me, which is always fun. And then they say, wait for it to cool back down. Now, just wait until I'm done <laughs> beating his brains in. God, they take hits. Like a boss. Anyway, as I was saying, there are guides online that tell you to wait for the cooldown on the disruptor. You do not have to do that. All you have to do is not... You can either detonate those two or the ones there, and you just sneak around here, stay in the middle, and uh, they will not hit you, basically. So yeah, you only have to use two of them. It, it's sort of a feint to make you think, oh my god, this is, this is ridiculous, I'm going to have to wait so long. But no, you don't. So don't do that. Yeah. And this is one I solved off screen because I didn't realize what was happening. And uh, basically you step on that one and that one and that lights them all up. And I, uh, I can't really even figure out how on earth that happened, to be honest. So there's that. Stupid. It, this was a stupid one. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. All right. But Resident Evil 6, yes, we're back there. Uh, I want to sound like I'm, like, you know, sending the franchise to die with my commentary, but, you know, it's still not getting nearly as uh, bastardized as Silent Hill, I suppose. That That is like the, uh, you know, that is the epitome of bastardization, I think, is Silent Hill at the moment. Such a great franchise, getting totally screwed over by multiple developers with a different vision, and none of them particularly great. Not one. So yeah, that's crap. Oh yeah, I kind of screwed up here. Speaking of uh, bastardized uh, franchises, Apparently, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3D did not do so hot in the States. Now, that makes me kind of sad, because I do, I did love, I should say loved, the Kingdom Hearts franchise, because I haven't played any of them since 2, because I can't be bothered to buy, you know, handhelds, especially not all of the handhelds. Like, okay, Kingdom Hearts outsold Final Fantasy X, right? It outsold... Every other Final Fantasy after that, Kingdom Hearts 2 came very, very close to doing the same. And then they just wait and wait and wait. I know a lot of that has to do with Final Fantasy Versus 13 taking, what's his name, Namura, I think. Yeah, Namura, forever to complete. But still, Kingdom Hearts was like the franchise for Square at one point. And now, you know, they've gotten so many ports and... You know, handheld expansions, games. It's reached the point where it's kind of... It might be impossible for them to actually get back to that form of glory, which kind of saddens me. Well done, Batman. Well done, me, right there. Uh, anyway, at this point with Kingdom Hearts, I think that it might just be best for them to end the current storyline on Portables and then do something new with Kingdom Hearts 3. Because... You're asking consumers to, you know, either buy all these games on different handhelds or look it up on Wikipedia. Which, if you do look it up on Wikipedia, you're just going to facepalm your head clean off, I think. It's gotten that ridiculous. It's more convoluted than, than Resident Evil or Metal Gear Solid combined, I think. You know, you got Sora clones everywhere, Xehanort clones everywhere, Riku embracing the darkness and the light. Ooh. And so it's just, it's really frustrating as someone who loved Kingdom Hearts as a game. Even Kingdom Hearts 2 when the, you know, the possibility of it getting crazy was there, right? I still loved it. 
So yeah, this is a very depressing part. I'm just talking about my favorite franchise and how they're completely been put to shit recently. Huh. I'm not generally a depressing person, it's just recently it's been quite annoying. Right, as you can see there, you have to wait for the uh, water level to go down. So I got a wee bit confused by that, but thanks to the power of editing, yeah, some cue action coming at you right there, huh? Oh, Trekkie. My inner Trekkie coming out once again. But that's alright. I think after the J.J. Abrams movie, being a Trekkie is more ac acceptable in the social environment of it all, you know? And, well, that's an interesting point to bring up, too, because this is what I wanted to talk about, too, is Star Trek II, a.k.a. Star Trek Into Darkness, one of the most interesting titles of all time, really. Interesting meaning completely bizarre and at the current point making no sense and kind of sound like a Nicholas Sparks novel, if I'm being completely honest. Star Trek Into Darkness. What could it mean? Ooh. The uh, inner nerd in me hopes it has something to do with Bane, of course. Yes. He was born in the darkness, after all. I, I don't have my cup with me, so that was kind of crap. Anyway. That's alright. You've come to expect that amount of goodiness from me. Goodiness? Sounds like a candy. Anyway, this was actually kind of confusing uh, Riddler trophy to get because there are two buildings surrounding it. We've done this whole, you know, hit with force to unlock it kind of a thing. But I could not get it to hit with enough force from either uh, building to the side there, so I had to go all the way over there and glide, hence the uh, beginning of this. Which is always good. I kind of feel like, uh, which is always good, it's becoming like a catchphrase for me now, which isn't, which isn't the best, because I've always kind of felt catchphrases are a sign of a lack of originality, really, but... We'll just have to see how that plays out, I think. Which is always good. Yeah. So I had a few points written down here that I was gonna, like, use to get through all, I think, 40 plus minutes of Riddler uh, stuff here. I notice now that I've gone through all of them, and we're just at the 13 minute mark. Which is always good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of 13 minute mark, I just, uh. Oh, and I just got the red screen of death, too. Like, right exactly on the 13 minute mark. So. Oh, this is super unlucky, isn't it? I'm gonna have to restart Sony Vegas. Thankfully, that restart has given me the opportunity to write down some more bullet points to talk about. Aren't you lucky? Anyway. The uh, main point I want to talk about was Dread 3D, which is coming out, uh, you know, sort of a remake slash reinterpretation of the comic book Judge Dread, because there already was a movie uh, about that with Sylvester Stallone and uh, what, Roy Schneider, I think, so that, that was obviously an amazing movie, one of the best of all time, I think. Yeah, not... Anyway, uh, I thought the new Dread looked uh, spectacularly shit, but it's actually getting uh, surprisingly decent reviews so far, so it is always nice when a uh, movie you think is going to get poor reviews gets really good ones, and then you have to think, should I spend 10 bucks on this? And the answer is yes, spend 10 bucks on it. And that's either the answer or no, don't spend 10 bucks on it. Those are the only two answers here. This is kind of an interesting one. Uh, no, not this one. Turn around, Batman. Turn around. I don't care about the payphone killer. I already dealt with him. You just turn around, Batman. Wait, this isn't the one I want. Damn it! Ah. You know, that's okay. It, it will come around, it will come around. And it's so clever that you might actually, you know, get a little excited down under in your pants. I'm talking about an erection, in case uh, you didn't get that. God, such terrible commentary. I suppose I should fulfill my side of the agreement. A riddle for a bat. Can you solve it? Riddle me this. Hit me hard and I will crack. But you'll never 
stop me from staring back. Ba ba what am I? Now, could this be a miracle? No. Could be a mirth? Or a mirage? No, obviously it's a mirror. How did you do that? Who helped you? Tell me! Actually, it doesn't matter. Come and save the final guard. I'll be as shocked if you don't come and save her as she'll be if you do. You know what would be uh, interesting is if in like the next Arkham game and they do have riddles. I don't know, maybe you dispose of the Riddler for good. Yeah, right. Comic book game, yeah. Anyway, but what I mean is if they have an option for harder riddles like that, kind of like how they did with <laughs> nice editing there of the gunfight. <laughs> anyway, but like in Silent Hill, you know, you could uh, set an option to make the puzzles harder or easier. That'd be kind of cool if they did that in Arkham City, because that was such an easy riddle. The easiest of all time, I think. Nah. But super easy. Uh, getting a bit of dead air here. Oh, oh, good. This is an interesting uh, riddle here. Uh, you'll notice that there's a bunch in the circle there. You have to hit that one. It's like impossible to actually, you know, keep track of it because it's spinning so fast. All you have to really do is remember where it is in position to the final swirl in the middle there. And uh, it's quite easy, just a bit daunting when you first see it right off the bat. You go, oh my god, this is impossible. And this is still not the one that I uh, <laughs> was hyping up initially. God, where is it? I don't know. This is actually a slightly involved one, though, because it requires the usage of three. Yes, three different uh, gadgets. See, I blew that off, and there's a little uh, cryptographer thing there. All you have to do is open up this place. It doesn't open all the way because, you know, those things just don't. But yeah, so hack that and then you go all the way around and you get it. Which is always bad. Yeah, I bet I threw you for a loop there, didn't I? Oh man. <laughs> Jeez. Come on. There we go. Sorry. I was just getting pissed off at myself now. Just figure it out. That's the most annoying thing about post-production videos. It makes you hate yourself. Here, I had already destroyed that cover at some point. Don't remember when, but that's alright. Just keep on walking on that sunshine. Or something. It's quite sunny today. I could be outside getting those rays, but here I am. Doing this. Oh you Oh yes. How do you do? Okay, we'll ignore that. <laughs> Weird amount of stuff here. Oh, this one, um you might think, okay, what's the uh trick to here? It's actually um what am I trying to say? Timed. So there's actually no way you can get around to it in time. Because it's timed, right? But yeah. You can't get around fast enough. It only gives you something like five seconds. See, so you might be able to do it, but this is just easier. Wiggle it around and hit it. Five seconds. I suppose if you're like godlike, you might be able to do it. But I'm not godlike. I'm just geek-like. Chortle, chortle. In case you're wondering, that was indeed the sound of me literally slapping my knee. So there you go. Ooh, this is the one. This is the one. Right. You might notice that uh, Batman cannot spray the explosive gel from the, all the way down there. Seems like he could because it is a spray, but whatever. So what you do is hit the electrical thing. Yeah. Not that one, that one. I did mess up there because I thought it was going to fly off and go in the direction. Oh, Batman gets run over. Rubbish train. Anyway. Doesn't matter. It'll go all the way over there. Once that happens... And you climb it up, and yada yada. Okay, so I, I suppose it's not quite as interesting as I thought it was. Damn it all. Damn it all. Oh, I just spilled something on the floor. Yeah, it was just, uh, just some cat food. Why, why was I even up here in the chair in the first place? 
I don't know. I don't. I just don't know. Cat. The, in case you're wondering why the cat's always making noises and stuff in my videos, it's because the computer room is in the cat room. I am hoping to move it in my room, but I'm afraid that it could actually blow out like an outlet because I have a lot of stuff in my room, only two actual plugins. So, yeah, here we are again. We're getting that real trophy, and we're fucking loving it, aren't we? We are loving this. Okay, uh, now this riddle here is a bit of a leap, if we're being completely honest here. Completely honest ourselves. Did you hear the whole story of how Black Mask escaped? Whole? Really? Come on, Riddler, you couldn't have done better than that. This is a Riddler trophy that is rather tight, I think. What I mean is the same way in that AR training was tight, you have to pull up at just the right moment. Yeah, here we are. Which is excellent. Splendid. You may have saw that there's a little cubby hole in the wall back there when I was up top. Yeah, we're back here. It's so far off the map that you can't even click on it, <laughs> which is kind of funny. It's insane in the membrane, man. Yeah, you just use the line launcher. And you drop down. There we go. No turrets, no electricity. Just fun, generally. General amounts of fun. And ah, uh, yes, the tiger brain. Of course. The tiger brain. Once I hack this, I'm going to... Uh, oh, I'm going to. I already have done it. Past tense, geek. Past tense. Hence. Anyway, as I was saying, I move on from, was it, Industrial District to the subways. I know it would make more sense to go to the steel mill, but that's not how they have it set on the Riddler, you know, checking screen. In the <laughs> checking screen, right? But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Once again, another involved one, the remote control battering. This might actually be a longer trip than at the Mr. Freeze Gotham PD area. But yeah, you just don't want to mess up or it's a great, great waste of time. And make sure you don't uh, connect to Batman or else he will catch it. I don't know what happens if he catches an electrical one, actually. And he gets shot. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Oh, poor Batman. Poor, pathetic Batman with his hundred billion dollars and giant muscles. And To be fair, though, that isn't everything, as we all know. It's not everything. Shut up. Right. Uh, this is a fun riddle from an unusual perspective in that you'll notice that it's backwards, of course, you just turn around and there's the mirror! Oh yes, oh yes. I kinda hate these because I always think it has to be so precise. But it doesn't, it has to just be in the general area. Like that there would probably would work just fine. Ooh, uh, you wanna hack that, I don't think I actually showed it on screen. Another fuck up. This is not a good video, this is tr atrocious. No, it's okay, I suppose. No, it sucks. No, it's terrible. Nah, it's okay. Anyway. So that's the last real trophy for the subway. Just to show a quick recap before we move on to the next video. So, bye-bye.